Okay, so as you have seen, these chapters are typically structured in the following manner. You get a new functional group, which in chapter 18 is benzene or aromatic rings. And then we have to name them, right? And then we talk about their structure. That would be section three. And then section four and following, we talk about the reactions. How do we make them? And what do we do with them? So nomenclature of benzene derivatives. Let's go. So first of all, benzene is generally, cons is generally the, the root name, right? So chlorobenzene, nitrobenzene, ethylbenzene, and we don't have to say one chlorobenzene. Why not? We don't have to say that. Why not? Would it be wrong if you said that? All right. So many benzene derivatives have common names, and you need to know these common names. Toluene, phenol, anisole, aniline, benzoic acid, benzaldehyde, acetophenone, and styrene. Let me say uh, that you need to know all of these. These are eight of them. Let me say that there's two of them, which I'm going to predict you're not going to see a whole lot. I'm going to predict you're not going to see. Oops, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. I'm going to predict you're not going to see. Wait a second. Wait a second. Click. You're not going to see this one a whole lot. I'm not sure what's going on with my pen. Apologize. So, and I don't think you're going to see a whole lot of styrene. Let me say you're probably not going to see a whole lot of acetophenone. Although, look at that. That's an acetyl group. You've seen that before, especially if you're in biology. That's an acetyl group. Right? So, acetic acid, right? Okay, so there's times you've seen that before and you're going to see it again. Still, I don't think acetophenone is one you're not going to see a whole lot. These other ones, definitely you will see. Benzoic acid, oh yes, know that. Phenol, you already know that one. Toluene, you should know it. Aniline, you should know that. All right, so memorize those. I mean, I, you know, I suggest you memorize all of them. You'll be more comfortable if you memorize uh, all of them. Good luck. So, nomenclature of benzene derivatives. If the substituent is larger than the ring, the substituent becomes the parent chain. So in this case, there are seven carbons. You see that? Seven carbons here. So that's going to be the parent chain. And we're going to say one, two, three. So it's one phenyl heptane. Aromatic rings, when you're naming things, are often represented with a pH or a phi symbol. So these are all the same thing. Uh, this probably is some kind of joke. I mean, there is there such a compound? Sure, fine. But do you see the joke here, right? It looks like a person, a stick figure, right? All right, so you see a phenyl group here. Another way to write that is pH or a phi. You can write that whichever way you like. Um, you, you, you sacrifice some structural hints if you don't use the benzene ring, so be careful. Um, choose that, but you might find that the structural hints are, are have their own value. Okay, another, another common um, structure that we see is xylene. Xylene has got two methyl groups on it. And it's either 1,2-dimethylbenzene, 1,3, which is meta, or 1,4, which is para. So can you see by the context what ortho, meta, and para mean? Can you tell by looking at that? All right. So nomenclature of benzene derivatives, it's the same rules as always. Identify the parent chain. Identify name substituents, number the parent chain, and assign numbers, and list the uh, substituents in alphabetical order. So here's a couple practice examples. Identify the parent chain. This is going to be benzene. Right? Oh, no, no. Phenol, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? Dibromophenol. phenol. Should have given you a chance to do that. With this next one, we'll, we'll give you a chance to do that. 
Um, actually, I got a little ahead of myself. It's already been done here. And let's move on. Those are the practicing the four nomenclature rules. All right, now name these guys. Pause the video and name them, and then come back, and I will name them with you. Okay, let me suppose you paused them. Paused it. I'm going to first of all say that this spins out a high, right? And it's one, two, three, four. Four chlorobenzaldehyde or para chloro benzaldehyde, right? Let's go to a different color. I'm going to assume you've already attempted this. Toluene, right? One, two, three. Three bromo toluene or meta bromo, right? Toluene. Okay, let's go to a different color yet. This is going to be the prettiest slide I have, have, have uh, done in a long time. Maybe, maybe, you know, I hate to say ever, but maybe, just maybe ever. Okay, there's one I told you you didn't have to know. Hopefully, you looked it up. You need to do that. It's great practice. Um, two nitro anisole or ortho nitro. By the way, that's italicized. Nitro anisole. All right. Okay. All right, that's it. Practice, uh, you need to go back and practice with Skill Builder 18.1. Good luck.